All right, hello everybody. Uh, bit late for a start, but figure you know what? I really want to do some more of the new arena. There's been some changes. Some, if you haven't seen on Monday, there were some pretty major cha overhauls pulled off to the arena that we'll see once we enter. Uh, the quick of it is cards are no longer. You're given the choice of three, but the three aren't the same, necessarily the same rarity. The idea is that the three are of the same power level, ideally, like at least close to each other, which can extend over rarities. So you can have a purple versus a blue versus a common. Uh, legends are still in their own uh, thing. When you see a legend, it'll always be against two other legends. Um, but from what I've seen, I've watched a couple people play in the arena and then my own experiences, it means that the arena is a higher power level zone these days and a little bit more consistent. So we're going to go ahead and jump in with a different class and see what we get. Hey, uh, I'm a Fionn Group Gnome, Hydrate, uh, Varnstrom, Mega Marquis, County Kittens, next time around. Good to see y'all here. So let's see what we got access to. Hunter Warlock Rogue. Uh, okay, all right. Warlock seems like it could be some fun. I haven't played a good amount of that. Hunter also seems like it could be good. We might be like able to pull off more beast synergies or even just, not even that, but have a more consistent aggro deck because we're offered uh, lower cards. And that might be interesting. Like, like one of the things I've noticed is that because you're getting cards across rarities and of equivalent power levels, it seems a little easier to get your early drops. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't. I, I. I have nothing against Rogue. I actually think Rogue is quite strong, but I have no drive to pick Rogue at this very moment. So. Anywho, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and jump in on Warlock. I feel like I do Warlock rarely, but it, it tends to go all right. Uh, Embrace the shadow. Shadows. So right away, we get to see uh, how this works. You can see we have two blues versus a purple uh, against each other. So we have... Cards across rarities versus each other. Um, the only stipulation I believe is still in place is that picks 1, 10, 20, and 30 are rare plus. Um, but I would have to actually, like, see how that how that plays out. I love Despicable Dreadlord. That's a really good body on the, on the table, and it's really hard to get around at times. Like, it lets you, uh, it gives you this, like, really good sweeping ability for, for minor th effects, like, uh, uh, pog, you know, tiny pogs, uh, paladin hero power, and such. Uh, while being on a respectable body. Not the best body for five, but it gets one damage immediately. The other two cards are of pretty equivalent power, I feel. Siphon Soul is just flat answer any minion you want, gaining some life. Bane of Doom is much, much lower, but the chance of... You know, what you get out of the demon could be anything. It could even be a Dreadlord. So, let's go ahead and pick the Dreadlord in my mind. Wow. And I guess we get three cards of equivalent power here, too. Unwilling Sacrifice is a, f is a bad, a deadly shot. You can still make it work. And at the end of the day, is removal. But it is a bad, a deadly shot. Uh, that might be the pick, though, because it's versus Blood Fury Potion. Uh, an okay card when you play it on a demon. It's like a fake Blessing of Kings on a demon. The problem is that if it was just plus three, plus three most of the time, it would be a lot more reliable of a card. Uh, and the fact that it's a potion means that the best time for playing it is just when you get it off of Cabal Chemist. A Burgle Bully... It's a four, six, or five? That's nice. I'm going to believe in the awful removal. All right. Ooh, Foul Illusionist, very strong in faction. Uh, lets you hero power with no damage. Sorry, Murloc Tidehunter. Okay. Lesser Amethyst Spellstone versus Defile versus Soul Fire. 
So Spellstone, uh, whenever you take a damage from your own card effect, it'll upgrade. It has two upgrades. It goes to th five damage and then seven damage. And it has lifesteal, making it a very strong helix effect. Defile's a sweeper that we could work around as well. Um, using that to keep board advantage and kind of play the math where we just go doot, 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 and then everything gets blown up. I think that's the direction I want to go. This is a good one too, though. Miss... Uh, Swamp Ooze, Stubborn Gastropod, Fungal Mancer. Well, let's get some twos going. But we're well, flat, plus three, plus three would be on curve with other buff spells. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna pick Ooze here. Gastropod's good too, but I, I always have this thing where I like having access to an Ooze effect in deck. Oh, these are nice. Uh, I don't really care. I don't think this is on the same level as these others, but... Up near Frost Rider looks all right with how few drops we have. Voidwalker's also just fine. It's a good one. Um, can get stuffed if your opponent plays a a, a, uh, a a Bloodfen Raptor, but it's pretty decent at, at like keeping your plays safe early, which maybe is more important than Held near Frost Rider. Oh, I didn't mention the arena-only cards. There are arena-only cards now, one in each class. So if we see it, I'll point it out. I'll go with the Voidwalker. Oh, hey, Fairy Dragon versus Big Time Racketeer. I like Fairy Dragon. This thing's a little worse these days because there's a blaster, the Dragon Blaster, that exists. But it's still immune to... Ooh, Gnome Feratu, Fungal Mancer, Karakazam. I'm going to believe in twos and... Once we get to the point where I feel like I have enough of them, we'll stop. Wow. You know what? I would say these are kind of equivalent. I wouldn't say Gurabashi's equivalent. We have Defile, which can be rude as hell with Gurabashi. But these? Oh, yeah. These are equivalent. They're unplayable. All right. This is Death Rattle Recruit a Demon. Well... I didn't know the Voidwalker would feel a little better about it. I might still pick it anyway. Maybe try building around that. That isn't the worst idea. Problem with the is that we have that Voidwalker in the deck. Sunfairy Protector is the more reliable card here, and that's a good two. I should probably go uh, in that direction. But Possessed Lackey does have a... a it just has this... Uh, again, it, the, the fact that we... Picked up the Voidwalker seems like the problem here. Let's have some fun. This is, I think, the incorrect pick, but we'll see how it plays out. On that note, I'll make... Uh, let me look. Yeah, we got a dragon for that. Void Terror. I'm okay with that card. Okay. Ooh, hey, I like Tarlurker a lot. So we want big demons. Oh, wow. I don't know if I'd say these are equivalent. These two I might. This is neutral. Okay, that's neutral healing. I think that card's much stronger. Bellfire Potion is busted in half. It's more good twos. I'm going to drain soul. Just keep gnoming. Uh, wow, hey, Harvest Golem. I don't think I've seen you in... Ages. I'm all in on that. Uh, let's grab some removal. Forbidden Ritual is cool too, but not having some removal will be nice. Knife Juggler hanging out, but it actually feels like our deck might benefit a little better off of Violet Teacher. Maybe Volcano Sore. We need some sort of top end. Hmm. I don't know. Like Having Violet Teacher works well with our deck, but maybe having some sort of top end. Can you just do that again? Oh, uh, let's Hosen Healer here. Uh, sure, Felguard. Hey, Stonehill Defender versus Hellfire versus Crystal Weaver. Damn, these are good cards. I like Stonehill Defender, especially because we got the really big taunts. Oh, hey, how we doing? Uh, two Possessed Lackeys, two Numferatus, two Fairy Dragons. So, no dice on Kazakus today. Baron Geddon seems like a good place to be. We just keep these damage sweepers going. We got Baron Geddon. We got uh, Despicable Dreadlord. Um, so this is Onyxia versus Baron Geddon is the pick. I think Baron Geddon's just the more uh, interesting card here. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, let's pick another Violet Illusionist up. Hey, Blast Crystal. Okay, these are strong cards. I want Unconditional Removal, though. Doom for everyone. I'm going to take some health. Thanks. Uh, Hook to Reaver, if you have 15 or less health, plus three, plus three, and Taunt. Yes, please. And Primordial Drake gives us some more top end sweeping. Okay, it looks like our deck is about lasting long and playing a lot of sweepers late. Baron Geddon, Despicable Dreadlord, Fellfire Potion, Primordial Drake, let us deal with the little things. And then once the end of file as well, once the little things are gone, hopefully we get the big things out with Blast Crystal Unwilling Sacrifice, which if you can just kill everything except for the big minion, it's like it hits. Gnome Fratu and Fairy Dragon give us some early game where, and our, we do have a bit of problem where our possessed lackeys aren't great. We have a couple things they grab. Like, it's a 2-2 two -two that becomes either a 4-5 or a 4-4. Four -four. This thing's really good if you're on. Um, and what else we got? So, Felguard here as well. So, anyways, not sure how I feel about new and approved arena. How, how's your experience been, Emily? Like, how, how, how have you... I'm, a, I'm putting together the deck. So you can go ahead and place your bets. I'm putting together the deck list for the side. So if you want to go ahead and... This is a good time to, to chat about that. Um, but yeah, how do you feel about it? So far, my experience is that the arena seems higher power level. Like, much higher power level. And I'm uncertain... Like, I think that's kind of neat as long as it's actually something that's, like, consistent. In the sense that, like the amount of cards that the arena gives you that are um, of quality A, quality B, quality C, quality D, and quality E, whatever that is determined to be, as long as those aren't random but between each person, like, you always get, like, five of one, four of another, you know, something like that. It's really important for, for like, making sure everybody's on the same playing field with maybe a bit of a... Uh, like, there's obviously going to be a bit of um, wiggle room there. You don't have to actually have it be like five, 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 or something like that. You can have it be six and four, you know, something like that. But you, you want it to be in some ways even, is what I would expect their system to look like. But yeah, go ahead and place your bets. I'm putting, getting the deck together. Looks like we are all set. I see high bets today. Seven, 11, 10. I don't know if that, that's... Uh, I don't know how I feel about this one. I feel like it's got a lot of control. If we can get to a late game, I feel like we're in a really good position. The question's going to be getting to that point uh, and how well we can pull that off. So, all right. So you should be able to see the deck. I need to put it on the side for you. Hey, there you go. There's our deck. Let's just jump on in. <laughs> Had three legendary deck multiple times. Yeah, that's something I've seen uh, in the ones we played uh, a couple days back. I think nearly every opponent we played against had a legend in their deck, if not two. Uh, things like, oh, whoops, the Black Knight is here to ruin your day. Or, you know, like just these really heavy hitting legends all over the place. Alice and Amy. All right, Maeve. Okay. We can get rid of Volcano Sword, we can get rid of Hosen Healer. We can probably keep Void Terror. Yeah. Let's try to mulligan that to get a little bit better early game here, maybe a second two. This looks good. Felguard's not too great, but it's it's fine. My hope is that I don't have to like coin into it. Okay, I think I want to hold coin. Yeah, now I definitely want to hold coin. If I had another two, I would coin two, but we don't have that. So, hero power. This is good. This means that we're going to be the one pushing uh, pressure first. Are they just going to pass on that? They might. It's a smart move. Uh, oh, there's another two. I guess if I had... So hey, no, for all two. Yo. Transform a friendly minion into a 6-6 six, six elemental. It's a newer card. Okay, my hope is to, like, hold the coin until after a Violet Teacher, if, if possible. But we'll see how that plays out. Hopefully, my hope... I don't know, they could, like, Deadly Poison here. That'd be, like, okay. Hmm. Not the best. 
I'd have to trade and play Vowed Illusionist. Yeah, trading and playing Vowed Illusionist looks alright. Could also just play Felguard and accept being a turn behind on mana, but that seems really harsh right now. Let's go like this. Next turn we can like tap Fairy Dragon or tap Drain Life. Uh, if need be, we can also uh, play out Violet Teacher. That's pretty good. Go for the advantage then. Keep beating the cards off their deck. Let's see what we can learn. There's Hired Gun. Goodbye. All right, we'll pass it back. This is a 7-7 seven, seven taunt if we're on 15 or less. That's really damn strong. Oh. Okay, so they didn't get a really big thing out of the, that free death rattle. Oh, alright, we're spending that there. And ignoring my 2-3? Sure. It's fine by me. Uh, that'd be okay. What I'll do instead is give myself a little bit of a board. This is a good coin turn, I feel. Pay attention, class. I'm ready to learn. So I don't want to Dreadlord quite yet. I want to use this like for a much heavier hit. I think it'll be good. If I use that there, we weren't gonna get like we were gonna get killed back one three one. So I didn't want to do that. Um, but if we get a little bit more on the board, if we maybe we can we can you know snipe off this Jade Swarmer uh, and maybe get this with four damage plus the Despicable Dreadlord. Okay, I can choose to trigger that at odd times. Okay, I like that. Pretty happy about this maneuver because uh, it means that we're going to be able to. Oh, are we power mastering here? Are we actually going to do this? Yeah, it looks like we're going to Pyromancer here. So, the, what's the spell that's going to trigger this? Shiv for one point. Pyromancer goes off. It'll kill everything except for one of mine. Please kill the gnome. Perfect. Okay. So, now our Dreadlord looks beautiful. Check this out. So, we just go ahead and... Uh, yeah. So, hello. Dreadlord takes out both your minions. I said... <clears throat> Button got stuck. I said Dreadlord takes out both your minions, and now we're in business. So, board is ours. We've got a lot of removal. Um, what do we want to do about that? Hirabashi would be fine to play. To check my Cabal Courier. Dread Infernal. I'm going to go ahead and... I will enjoy. So the idea here is that this is going to take a point of damage from the Dreadlord, take three, and then take another one and die. So, that's the hope. If it doesn't work, ah oh well. Okay. So I think our play here is going to be the the Dread Infernal, because that'll take out our uh, our problem uh, pretty simply. Oh, I can also defile the board away if I want their stealth gone. Ooh. Yeah, it looks real strong now. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> My name's Gurubashi Berserker. The meetings will continue. I even got Dread Infernal to keep things rolling on it if I want to make it even bigger. That's perfect. Because I can Dread Infernal plus Drain Soul to kill that to make sure that that doesn't actually hit. 
Perfect. So, we even get more damage out of this. Hit you for 14, go. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, this was in the same spot as a 10 mana 10 10 and a 1 1 lifelink here. Like, I agree that the 10 10 and the 1 1 are on the same level, and I agree that on, in a lot of decks, this is going to be on the same level, but this has more going for it. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to finally lose my uh, Gurabashi. What you got there? Uh, well, let's either pick up my minion. I think this is just game. So let's... Uh, the only thing they could have that wouldn't let this be game is if they actually hold evasion. Um, it is actually safer for me to let my Gurabashi die. I realize that's odd. Like, I could Blast Crystal and go in, but if that's Sudden Betrayal, I would lose both my minions for nothing. I don't want that. So we are going to make the weird-looking play. Yeah. Just in case that was Sudden Betrayal. Which, it looks like it was. It couldn't. It wasn't pick up my minion, and it wasn't, uh... Evasion, so we, we did play it around. Alright. On to the next one. Yeah, if that was Evasion and they went immune, I just would have built my board more and then they would have been dead next turn because I don't think they could produce a threat to stop me. Uh, and the Fellfire would have killed them on the following turn anyway. So, yeah, Rogue Secrets fall to there only being three and three of them. That the fact that they said specifically they weren't going to continue doing Rogue Secrets in the like following set was really uh, odd. We've got a lot of sweeping going on. Is the the plan here? Horrible. We got like we got like Primordial Drake. We got Defile. We've got. Uh, also fail to being secrets. Yeah, I, I can't disagree with you there. Secrets do have that problem. Okay, there's a curve. So, Jason Kami. What do we got? Pass? Do I get a two? I get a two. Perfect. All right. So, again, I talked about the thing that punishes the fairy dragon being that 4-3 that deals six damage to a... Uh, uh, to a dragon, which, which is something that can happen. Um. Okay. What's with the hidden caches? The last hunter did that. What the hell? What's with the cache? Is that just offered to every hunter times six? Like, is that how this works? What you playing, boss? That's a Bloodfin Raptor. Ooh, that's an adapted Bloodfin Raptor. Now you're thinking. All right, plus one, plus one's a bad one. I, like, not great. I would, as long as it doesn't gain health, I'd be all right. Perfect. All right, that is the choice you want to make. Um, how do we want to play around that then? I can kill it. That's an option. I could not kill it. That's also an option. Um. So I two for one into that, and then I would lose my taunt into it and just play Ozen Healer. That isn't actually two for one because it does have a hidden cache on it. So it's probably still fine. Let's get things off the table. Wish I could actually get them... Actually get this off the table. I don't like throwing this way for nothing. That's kind of sad. But we knew that with this card. Like, that a Bloodfen Raptor was the elemental weakness. And our opponent's just playing Tribal Bloodfen Raptor. So, you know. Good place to be. We got Tarlurker next turn. Real strong play. Alright. 
That's fine. I don't care about that at all. It's like a relevant play. Are they just gonna face me? Oh my god, and we're just gonna get faced by that. Alright. Alright, we're gonna take the beast off the table. Nice. So okay, I can't even have the health gain. Take the beast off the table. Get ourselves a big taunt wall. And next turn we can like Vile Illusionist Hero Power. Uh, get ready for Volcano Sword turn. Mm. I'm in the combination anime and card dimension. I think I watched a documentary about that before in the past. Oh my god. You all right? You got it, boss. Best podcast of the week, all systems go. I've been loving that. I've been really enjoying that that podcast. Completely disgusted with the Spectre versus Blue Angel match. I'm going to guess that Blue Angel was treated quite poorly, because that's kind of a running theme for... Uh, characters in, uh, those shows. Mm -hmm. You're late. You're late to the party. I, will enjoy I realize this is not Volcanosaur, but I actually think that this gets only a little bit more uh, going on. Friends been kind of amusing ever since Revolver. Yeah, I watched that episode and got a good laugh out of it. I've gotten a couple good laughs out of like the two or three episodes of Vrains that I've seen. Yeah, God, Guinea Force. Oh God, we're stampeding. Uh, how bad? That's it. What? 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 Uh, can't be targeted. Wind Fury. <laughs> All right. Oh, what's your top deck? This is their draw right there. Dogs? That's the general counter to uh, having too many minions in play. We, again, we have better than getting around, so like I can deal with them leaving a board if they leave something around. Okay, that's bad. I don't like I don't like that secret specifically being in play. Eh. <laughs> okay, that's really funny. Shit. Nice one. Alright, what's up my sleeve? Well. Well, burn! Another hidden cache! It's all about hidden cache. Alright, we have a lethal on board. They need to kill both of our minions. Uh, in order to win. That's why I played out the Barageddon, is because I'm repping lethal on board, and they have one kill spell. They can kill one of the two, but both of these will kill them. So. Well played. Well played. Oh my god, Core Hound. The Chorus of Hound. That's huge. Oh, shit. That's nothing. Nope. <laughs> Excellent. Ah, Baron Geddon's real. 
Uh, yeah, we picked Baron Geddon up against Onyxia and Kazakus, and at the time we've had Kazakus, we had three duplicates already in the deck. I think the Gnome Fratu, the Fairy Dragon, and the Lackey, or maybe the Illusionist. So, Onyxia was a reasonable choice, but I thought Baron Geddon gave us some more, like, interesting lines that give us the, the power plays. Basically, we get, between uh, Baron Geddon and the Dreadlord, we can keep our opponent's board very, very under control with these minor damage sweepers that keep happening repeatedly. More hidden cash. Yeah, always hidden. Ooh, the Beast. Um, I'm not looking the Shroom Brewer, but I really like the hand. I don't like the Shroom Brewer specifically. There we go. God, there could that curve get any better? It's hard. It's real good stuff. Nice. That even gives me a play instead of Cabal Courier on three, which I like. Alright, what you got here? Are you gonna coin anything or are you just gonna pass? Coin hero power me is the power move. Okay. That's fine. I respect you. Like, just admitting that I do not need the coin. Okay. I'm gonna play this, and... Let's ask the question. Perfect. That's the hit I wanted. I'd rather have it, like, effectively deal two damage to that than kill off my fairy dragon. They're equivalent plays in my mind. Oh, all right. That's fair. Okay, that actually works out well because they would have got a harvest golem if I had, if we had not done it that way. So, no sweat off my back. Um, yeah, valid illusionist on four is looking all right. Ooh, I like this. What do you got to follow it up? Just shock. Literal shock. Okay. I'm all about literal shock. You're doing great. Loving it. Okay, Shroom Brewer's back. Let's, uh... Let's card advantage this turn, I think. I don't think we need Ice Block. Kind of like the idea of Pit Lord. We can pay off the life pretty easy. Hell, I could even dodge the drawback of a draw into my other Violet Illusionist. I don't know if I identified Elixir could also be real good stuff. Hmm. Now, these are all reasonable picks. Let's see what's in Mystery Box. Yes, please. Oh. All right, give me something with four toughness. Want to run into it. At last, the Is this real life? This keeps happening. <laughs> it's pretty incredible when everybody gets to draft those decks. Hmm. Oh, so you've got a Kazakus potion there. It's likely a ten because I'm not pressuring you enough to make a five. Say hello to my little friend. Hello. Um, what do we actually want this turn? Hmm. Ten mana potion is kind of a trap. I think you should take the five most of the time because it lets you be more flexible with your plays. 
Town's way too value town. Um, speaking of value town. I, I don't like, like, Tar Creeper dies to the board, which is the current problem and the reason I haven't just slammed it down. Because it just dies on this board and I don't like that. Mm. Unwilling sacrifice is, is bad. It's what you think it is. Random enemy minion. So throw on some minions to the wolves here. Oh, is this the Kazakus? Oh, they actually... Oh! They did Kazakus a five. That's a strong and correct choice. Looks like I'm a Fellfire Potion. Yikes. Okay. Fellfire Potion it is, my friend. Thank goodness for Fellfire. That's a good potion, by the way, they made. They made a... They made a... Five, they made a... A, a Blaze Caller, you know, basically. Anyway, <clears throat> get the hell out of here. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. So, if they play one big old minion, we get Unwilling Sacrifice. If they play one old big old minion that we need a Blast Crystal, we can do that. But if they just go like 8-drop, we should be fine. I disagree pretty heavily on that choice, my friend. Can you actually burn me out from this position? That scares the hell out of me if you think you can burn me out from this position. Seriously. You think you can burn me out from this position? I Pay attention, I'm scared enough to not tap. That's enough, like, that's enough to make me not tap. I don't care that I'm holding the shroom uh, healer in my hand and, like, a bunch of taunt. You, you've you got it. You, you your, your, uh, straightforward play in that way has me running pretty interested in what you got up your sleeve. Mind Blast dot deck in the arena is one of my f yeah I love that one I'm really sad Mind Blast don't exist anymore but you know what do you what can you do all right um let's check out Cabal Courier no that was years ago uh huh Archbishop Bishop Benedictus you don't say I like the idea of having a twisting nether at the the ready I don't think I need the Archbishop Benedictus in this am I going to do I think I'm going to fatigue against this opponent? So many possibilities. I wonder. No. Now nah, we aren't going to fatigue, so I want to have the, the the pocket ace. My life total is too low for this game to go to a fatigue fight. Is the reason? Okay, that's these. All right, play. What you got for a follow up? Anything good? Okay, looking real strong on your follow-ups. Nice plays. Okay, you got a lot going on here. That's good stuff. All right, let's... Let's play out some fives. 
So I think this just grabs out like my my void walker. That ain't great. Hmm. All right. So we got a uh, target for blast crystal potion is what I'm reading here. Uh, it's indeed a target for blast crystal potion. It's, uh, what you got, bud? This is dead, but then we get to kill this back. I wonder if I can set up a good defile on the upcoming turns. Six cards in hand, 15 life. We got decent threat on board and a bit of taunt to hide it. They gotta spend something here. Okay, yeah, I guess that's, that's a real thing to have in the pocket, damn it. Did I misread and thought I sh maybe I should have thought that we were going to to uh, fatigue? Yeah, now that it, now that we're actually getting to this point, uh, that is indeed the feeling I am getting here is that we might actually have a fatigue game on our hands. Um, divine shield. Plus one. That's dreadful. This is like actively horrible. Wow. All right. So my hope here is that we don't like get to a point where this dies. With this is the only minion on the board. That's what we have to uh, like fight around. Problem is our opponent's life total. Don't know how you beat that card. I don't know how you beat that card either. Like, specifically, this is a card that you usually don't beat. Oh, okay. Crap, that's a full trade. Two of our opponent's cards in hands are coins, so those are fake. Oh, hey, thank you very much for the sub, Kavanaugh. Hope you enjoy your skull. Yeah, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm thinking that we actually that I misinterpreted uh, where this game was gonna go, and the Benedictus would have been a stronger line. So that was that was I think that was just a missed call on my part part. That's all right. We'll see what we can do about it. Sure, that's a nothing. You can stop that anytime. So I can heal my taunter. Do some board clearing. That's what this looks like. It's heal my taunter. Do some board clearing. Yeah, and two of our opponent's cards in hands are coins, so they look like they got five, but they don't actually. Oh. Thanks. Thanks very much. Uh, alright, so let's go. Very obvious attack. Mm, 
my skeleton. Okay, so we got the board. As long as we can keep the board, this should, like, follow from here. I'm scared of the Crystalline Oracle. It's likely to give our opponents something really powerful at this point. Uh, either our Primordial Drake or uh, Skeleton. Or, not Skeleton, Baron Geddon. And... Uh... Okay. Strong play. Uh, this is an arena-only card. This only exists in the arena. Choose from friendly minion, give it to your opponent, and draw three. Uh, a lot better than treachery, let me tell you. Shit! Here comes the statue back. That's 100%. Like, that's 100%. There's no... That, that, that's... That's 100%. <sighs> okay. Damn it. Hmm. Minion plus two plus two summon a one one copy of it. I wonder. I heard you. Okay. Let's do plus two, summon a 1 1 copy of it. We'll have to look out for good targets for that. Alright, four in hand. Because again, I think there's one coin left on the far left. Oh! You, two spells left in a six card deck. Alright, how good are they? More eternal servitude would kick my ass. Shit, that's gonna be a bunch of Baron Geddens. Oh, that's bad. There's at least one Baron Geddon in that. There's gotta be. Okay. That's a reasonable thing we can just kill. Um. But it could also have the Defile. I plus two plus two to our, our, our uh, Swamp Ooze to give us a more forward-facing clock. And uh, in case of Baron Geddon. Our opponent has a 50-50 of having. So... We're still even on Fatigue, though I'll take the first hit. Of course, they've got a better hero power for Infatigue. But we have the board right now. Real cards, huh? That's pretty good. That's untrue, Squirrel Token. Their deck specifically contains two spells and their hand has a coin. You are you are lying to me, to my face. That is that is incorrect information. So we have to figure out what I actually want to do about this. So many possibilities. Face then twisting nether might be the play. God, again, the fact that I didn't grab Benedictus was just a mistake. 
God. Brain twisting another feels so bad. Face pass has us probably dead. All right. Where's my Garabashi? There's those coins finally coming out. Oh, hey. Thank you for the host, Wandering Newbie. I appreciate it. We're currently trying to puzzle out how to win a game that we lost 20 turns ago when I made a, uh, when I picked the wrong card off of a, uh, uh, Cabal Courier. Hmm... Alright, I think they're going to be able to double defile to kill me. Is a highly likely play. And they got two in deck. If they got five points of damage, they have us dead. Okay, first defile. And then... Okay, do they have the, the final two? And then bear again. Alright. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, the Twisting Nether was a mistake. I should have played for a longer con. Ah, oh, well. Anyway, on to the next game. So, we are playing this controlling uh, Warlock deck that has a lot of ways to sweep the board. Baron Gadden, Fellfire Potion, Despicable Dreadlord, uh, and a number of uh, ways to shoot at things. We played against the Theft Priest. All right. Anyway, on to three. Gul'dan versus Jaina. You asked for it. That is a horrible opener, and this is one of the greatest reasons why uh, Mulligans exist. Wang's world. That looks really good. A plus wood hand again. All right, hey, Hooked Reaver, how you doing? Yeah, we have Fairy Dragon and a second Fairy Dragon in case our opponent coins into the Dragon Slayer. <laughs> That's its actual call, call out. That's your call out. I've never heard this card's call out. <laughs> oh my god. So that was 50-50 to work. So, worth it. Let's call it was, I cast arcane missiles. Oh, that was it. Go away. Um, take a bunch of damage. The runes, it's always runes. I don't know what it is about runes these days, but it's like every secret is runes. At last, a worthy disciple. What is this? What is this? What is this? Excuse me? Excuse me? Um. 
Excuse me. This is the arena now. Everybody's Kazakus. I'm just going to hover over Kazakus here. If you have deckhouse, no duplicates. Do the thing. We had that happen in the last match. Hmm. Be taking a while on their thoughts. Um. I'm gonna make a Yeti. And you five damage. Okay. That's fine. That's a lot less powerful than that could have been. I'm okay with that outcome. Our current problem is, like, not dying, I guess. It's Tarlurker and pass. If I take a little bit more damage, this is a 7-7, seven, seven, which is real. He's still got 7 in hand. Well, there's... None oh! Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so what's the next legend at this point? Oh, right! Meteor's a card. Yeah, that's cool. Um, screw this. Uh, goodness. Alright, what's next? This could be like a, a flame strike turn or a another meteor would take me out. Another meteor has me down to two. Uh, there's also the, the fact that, you know, mage can just burn you out. Hmm. Hey, it's that flame strike. Okay, that's pretty good. So, we get to drop down to six against a. Alright, let's go ahead and. Get this rolling. Here's that match you want to read and not worry about fatigue. Thanks, we got there. Oh, goodness. We ain't going to have to worry about anything in this match. Who's my opponent? What's your operating number? the wrong way to do that. I should have just ran them both in and accepted the loss. Hell. Pretty good. Decent. Uh huh. Now, uh, I guess on 10 means that this is like I just get pyroblasted in the face. Oh, please. Okay. Oh, come on. Show me another legend. No! Oh. All right. A plus. Ooh, Hellfire. 
Nice! Nice. Not sure we're winning this one. Uh. <laughs> it's fine. We were, we were doing okay there up until uh, all of it. So welcome to the arena. As uh, I've mentioned at the beginning of the stream, but I'll keep mentioning it now. We've had a... Uh, we, we've, we've had a, uh, a change in the arena, as you might be able to tell from the quality of our opponents. Uh, the arena at this point, instead of having cards based on just like you get three commons or ra three rares to choose from, you get three cards of equal quality to pick from. And then picking between those, uh, you go ahead and... Ooh, I'll take those. Uh, I don't want the Void Terror, the Numfrati in my opener. Uh, you pick... so And they can be across uh, rarity. So you can have something like a rare... A, a purple and a common against each other uh legends also are on their own tier but i'm not sure what chain nothing in the patch note says that legends are more common however legends are way more common they already were like about i think it was one in every 50 picks so every two arenas you or like maybe a little lower than that like you ended up with a legend pretty easily Anyway, I think I will coin another gnome for Atu here. Hey, Baron Gutting. Alright, what are we eating? Trash. Eat garbage! Uh, um, what you got? Ooh, Grime Street. Alright, you get some card draw. That's always good. Always good stuff. These are really strong cards because they let you pick up cards. Hey, Velgard. I'm happy to have that. So we get to Violet Illusionist on our time. Uh, I'm keeping the Acidic Swamp Ooze in hand because this is a, a Paladin and it's very, very likely they've got something going on, you know? I'd be stunned if they didn't have, like, a Vine Cleaver or something to that effect. So my hope is hold on to this and that'll be easy because we have four we've got five we've got plays up here we got seven you know we'll be all right how long can this go on um seems reasonable we'll wait i can't there was no line that tr I could choose to remove all Paladin minions there, which is sad, because as my, my, my saying always goes, never suffer a Paladin minion to live. But the power of how long can this go on is always strong with you. And here's the... Okay, a Divine Shield hit. That's decent. You probably want to just, yeah, bop off that. And then a pump to go with it? Oh, another Divine Shield. All right, just keep it in the bubble. Shield's up. Red alert. Alright, so we're going to hide our team behind uh, Tar Lurker here. That'll be nice. Next turn, I could hopefully tap for free and then use a uh, play Violet Teacher. Because we still control our Violet Illusionist. We can't take damage. So if we... Violet Illusionist says you're immune on your turn. Immune to damage. And this deals two damage to you. So you can sidestep it. Okay, if they have Blessing of Kings, we're still okay. If they have Steed, we're still okay. If they have Cult Master, we're... Uh, you know, look, 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 look. All right, let's free tap. Um, I want to save my resources. Yeah, they didn't summon the Black Knight. That's good. All right, so we got Baron Geddon as a possibility. I've got a lot of, like, easy uh, interactive spells I can push to my opponent's face. Uh, this is a Vine Cleaver turn. This could be a... Okay, there's a sword. It's a decent one, too. It's a decent spot for a sword, you know? Oh, you know... Okay, there's that Firefly, and I got three left. Oh, all right, we dodged a Dragon Slayer. That's decent. 
What do we want? Just play Baron Gun. Um, so many possibilities. I'm just gonna make their sword bad rather than kill it. I'm gonna set it for a defile, is what I'm doing here. Ho 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 ho! Yeah, no smoke. Uh, you're just dead. What's your life total? Seventeen, eleven. I can't kill you. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think that was the only line they had, though. They had to. They had to go with what was gonna work. Uh, if they believed in it more, they would have done sword first. But I don't think they had that. They didn't have that much faith in it. Um. Instruction begins. Always remove the minion. Ah, sneaky little devil. Always kill the minion. Okay. That's fine. I put a lot of three toughness minions down specifically for that reason. Okay. And. Hey, Swampoos. All right. Looks like we're going to have a Baron Geddon kill. That's nice. It'll burn! Holy light! <laughs> well Alright. Alright, we kept the board and kind of moved along with that. I think the, the those turns in the middle where we were able to keep the board even th on like 4 and 5 were the biggest point. The fact that they weren't able to actually step us off it, and we were able to keep moving forward. The fact that Gurubashi didn't die. If that did flip a, fa a four off the top. So. Ooh, Aria. Really good game. Uh, oh my god. It's been a while, but I think we just have a keep. Good stuff. A plus. Wood keep. We got a curve. We got an ooze. Uh, we've got... Uh, yeah. We got a curve. We got an ooze. I'm here for this. Having a curve is one of the biggest things for this deck because a lot of our, like, uh, sweeping potential is still there, like, for our late game stuff. We're able to kind of keep leveraging that as long as we can get to that point in the game. And if we can get to that point in the game when we're already ahead, a lot of our sweepers still function. Like, playing Dreadlord into a board we still control is a really good thing to do because it keeps us in the game. It means that our opponent can't use their hero power uh, at any point. Uh, Baron Geddon's a bit of a, a double-edged sword in that regard. But still, uh, okay. Defile's really good against this hero power. It means that it's basically always dealing two. Uh, let's see if they have a coin. Or just, if they play a, okay, they got nothing here. That's good. Oh, all right. So I haven't been pun punished by coin dragon slayer yet. I'm waiting for that to happen, you know? 
Our opponent just going coin, dragon slayer, kill it, pass is one of the best things they can do. Out of my sure, that's reasonable. Oh, that was a snap pick. That's not good. Um. Go ahead and make our hero immune. Snap pick. Uh, snap pick out of a, a paladin is very high chance to be a legend. Uh, I mean, it also could have just been like V Goldshire Footman or another Stone Hill Defender. Okay. You know. There are reasons why you might go something else. Because Stone Hill and the Stone Hill, like. I'm glad, I'm glad that our opponent gets to show off exactly what I'm, I'm going to be talking about as it happens. It's really nice of them to, to be able to help out in that way. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I love having the free tap. Vile Illusionist for free tap is a really good, and I like leveraging that as much as possible. We're in a weak board to Consecration. That's that's the actual strength our opponent has right now. Is if they if they have Consecration, they attack my Gnome Feratu, and they blast it out of the water. Hammer of Wrath there, pretty good. That's decent. Should probably go face. That's a good good line. I'm gonna tap again, and I'm gonna play a three. All right, board is ours. Card advantage is close, but the board is ours is the big thing. As long as we can keep that under our control, uh, it should be fine. Even like with a Tyrion showing up. It... Are you for real? Are you for real? Okay. So Keliseth is on. Uh, yeah, Keliseth is on. I wonder. Yeah, it did the thing on the deck. You just attack everything in and then heal up. So I'm healing my board because I think we're, if we're winning, it's because we're pushing the board. So I want to be able to make damn sure that I have control of it, which means I'm willing to take that as a plus two plus uh, or plus two plus two. Yeah, Keliseth is a double-edged sword because it means that you have no other two drops in your deck. However, the longer this game goes, the more powerful our opponent's going to be. And it implies that our opponent is very top-heavy. There's no way this works. Rats. That is perfect. I could not ask for a better uh, shot from that. Thank you. All right, let's get Volcano Sword going. How you doing? Let's go plus some health. Wind Fury. Doesn't necessarily have two losses, right? The, th the algorithm for uh, matching players up against each other is not like public information. So I'm uncertain if that's true or not. If our opponent is like, you know, somebody who is. Oh, so I'm sorry, what's our opponent at? I need to know. I'm sorry, plus eight? Okay. That's fine. How do we deal? Plus eight. Is that a lay on hands or a dino size, right? Those are the options. Well, that actually could have been higher than eight, too. So, which means what? Any fin? That's the other option. But that's dumb. Why would you pick that? Uh, I think that means I want to play out to, uh, the most bored. Let's get you going. My two ofs. Fairy Dragon, Gnome Feratu, 
Possessed Lackey. I... Possessed Lackey's the missing one, by the way. So I'm setting up for, like, a really good Defile kill. Dinosize this. Dinosize this, please. I'm begging you. Dun, 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 dun. I'm begging you. Alright, how are we Defile winning this turn? Um, I even have the Swamp Boost to kill the sword. So if I go, like, bump like this, Defile, 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 Pump, Pump. Yeah, that's, that should be lethal. Because that's plus nine. Sure. Um, ooh, that's actually going to be five short. Okay. That's fine. If we still go this route. Kill your sword. Dreadlord. One too many. I should have run my two two into that as well. Or perhaps found a different way to do the defile kill. Okay. Okay. The creeper. Just check that for damage on a five potion, right? Like that's the that's the actual way we do this. No. Play smart, Jens. Take the sweep. Check that later. Sure. You gotta pay up. Uh huh. It's our turn to Kazakis. <laughs> um. So they still have Dino Size. Hmm. All right. And of course. I killed my Dreadlord to improve the odds. I realized I could have just left it back and had it kill the thing, but I wanted better minions out of that. That's probably incorrect. You're right. Whew. 
Hoof. Our opponent put up a really strong fight there. Uh, clinging on to that, like, six health after I made a slight defile error. That's something I have to get a little bit more used to. I haven't uh, played Defile a lot, so I admit I had plus I had minus one on the math when it was still plus one. That's something worth getting used to, though. Uh, I don't like Possessed Lackey, and I don't think we want Blast Crystal in an opener. Yeah. The reason I got rid of the Blast Crystal, even though it's quite strong, is because I believe in the power of having a 2-drop to be on Curve. And Harvest Golem was strong enough to keep for Curve, so... Hellfire's really good, though. That gives us an ace in the hole to get out of games. Or get out of, like, a, a busted board. Yeah. Hey, Defile. How you doing? But yeah, Defile always hits for plus one on what you, like, want it to. Alright. Alright, Gnome. Hey! Goodbye, two drop! <laughs> Alright. Um. Let's see how this plan works again. Okay. One for one trade is A-OK. -okay. Oh my god. Because I didn't attack face, they couldn't heal up there. Bit funky of a play, but I feel like I need to be pushing board rather than going for card advantage right now. Be able to get the card advantage later. Um, we'll see. I think they should just take the trade on the 4 3. It's probably the most effective thing they have. But yeah, I want to push, for push forward because we have a lot of reactive cards in our hand, and then our 7 drop. I'd be okay with them healing there, then maybe playing a two. Hi. Yeah, okay. Trail. Yes, I realize that play looks a little funky. Uh, there's always, always a high chance of Potion of Madness being in our opponent's hand. And even though Potion of Madness is still kind of ruinous, it's not as ruinous as if they got the Golem token instead of us. Okay, this is good. We have a sweep. Pretty clean sweep, too. Play a three toughness thing, please. A+. plus. One, two, three, plus one. Take her lumps. I'd like a five toughness play here. Thank you. One of the things about playing card games is knowing what plays are the most advantageous to you out of your opponent and planning around those. Uh, the fact that our opponent played a 5 toughness minion there means that we were able to just go ahead and play Baron Geddon. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and... It's good. They're on eight. This is usually a freed from amber turn out of a priest. High chance of those. Really? Um. Good news. I think I just go for the 
dome here. Yeah, I think we just go for the dome and then play out a bunch of threats to try to push face. If any threat lives, the Fellfire Potion will kill our opponent off. To play out Tar. Could trade and play Dreadlord. You ain't wrong there. That's a much more reasonable line. There's that freed from Amber. You got the charge? You the Just an 8 8. Sure. Alright, let's. Your soul is mine. God, I love that call. Your soul is mine. Um. So they could mind control my Dreadlord, and that's probably their best line. Or mind control my Taunt might be their best line. That's maybe better. Mind control my Taunt. Oh, wow! Okay, their hand is poor enough that they, they're they going to have to rely on my deck for answers. Uh, sadly, we don't have a lot left. Uh, they might have to actually do unwilling sacrifice to not lose here. Will they be willing to do that, though? They might just heal up and play a 3 instead of Unwilling Sacrifice. Or if they have a 2-drop and use that instead, it would be a little bit more powerful for them. Um, if our board lives, Fellfire is lethal indeed. I know that that's plus 5. Um, this only works on the simple-minded. Okay, that is indeed lethal. So, we get to move along out of here. This is what I was trying to get lethal for earlier. Your soul is mine. Your soul. I love the Shang Tsung call out. Perfect. Keep on moving. <laughs> yeah, like how it clears the board anyway. That's good. This year is the year of the mammoth. Mm. I still have. Yeah, I still got a bit. I'll be right back. And by that, I mean I just muted myself for like three seconds. Gul'dan, Key concepts. You asked for it. All right. Shall be mine. Can we defeat key concepts? All right. Our deck has possessed lackeys in it. Easily the worst card. I don't have any Void Lords for them. I still think it was worth trying. They're fun. Oh, crap. That's bad. Well, okay, no. That's fine. Void Walker's out of the deck. Well, that's annoying. Um... This play's too good to pass up. I want to punish the one drop before they get to three. Yeah, we're going to punish that one drop before they get to, get to three. Then we tap next turn unless we draw two. Cool. Yeah, Recruit pulls a minion uh, out of the deck with that quality, whatever that quality is. So the fact that this is Fairy Dragon matters a lot. It means that Fire Blast can't kill it. That matters hugely right now. Uh, I'm happy to be holding my Shroom Brewer, because our life total is already taking a little bit of a beatdown, and I'm not happy with that continuing. If our opponent still has a forward-facing 3-play, mm. they might not. They might just not have anything. Perfect. That's beautiful. 
Let's trade, let's tap, let's void walk. Unless we draw a better three. There's a better three. <coughs> yeah, I'm not discarding two cards. Let's get Fen Creeper. I ain't discarding two. That ain't happening. Oh my goodness. Pass. Alright. Let's get aggressive then. Passing on four scares me because it means that their hand must be a lot of top end. Uh, so we kind of want to get aggressive here as much as we can. Uh, I can imagine if they passed on five. Oh goodness, that's like passing on five sometimes. Hit itself. Hey! Will into power. That's like passing on five. So I'm going to play the Possessed Lackey as a sort of like sweeper proofing. Oh, uh, that was a mistake. That should be right there. It's not where you want to actually put that card. Let's see if they've got the Meteor to punish me for it. I've said that a lot. I've said that there's a lot of ways that Meteor Punish exists, and I still have not been hit by it, which is why I keep making the misstep, misstep. What to do? Until I actually make the mistake, I can't stop. It's, it's a problem. Oh, thank God. I would love a sweep, though, because, like, this gets us another body out of the deck. You are on I'm sorry. Ooh, Gurabashi seems really good here. Let's... Mistake if you know for a fact your come up is never coming. <laughs> it's gotta happen sooner or later, right? They don't have another five, I don't think. Oh my god, fireball, please. Oh shit. Uh no. Uh no. Uh no. Uh no. No, we're killing you now. Okay. We have lethal. My SPCR Hitman. Alright. It's all about fairy dragons. Ooh, nice. Good curve. Job done. <laughs> Fiona, that's exactly the thing that scares me, too. You know, the... the uh, how if, if an opponent is decides to go face at 26 when they could have uh, killed something. Okay, come on. All right, fine.
Ooh, what do you got on four? Anything cool? Oh, it's Chill Wind Yeti! Woo! I haven't seen you in ages. I'll take my card, please. Right now I'm playing a little bit defensively in order to uh, try and make uh, Fellfire Potion look pretty good. Go away. <sighs> Draw first. Spellstone, I like that. So I'm I'm flooding into the board. I probably could have got away with not flooding that in. Uh, but the idea is that if I'm flooding in, it, shit, that has charge. That's bad. I couldn't get my hand low enough. Nice. Uh, yeah, we have to take the the sweeps. That's real. All right. So this upgraded because we took damage from our own card. So now our Amethyst Spellstone is up. It's one of the very, very few ways our deck has to upgrade that card. That ain't Stan, bud. No dice. I'll pass on my Lich King turn to kill that weapon. Frothy, huh? I'm banking to the fact that I, I want my opponent to have to be... Okay, they just gotta play their own damn sword. Execute? Oh! Just flat execute. Alright, you are getting rid of as much of my taunt as you possibly can. Scary. Um... Probably should kill that. Really should kill that. Let's... Let's go big taunt. That should be safe enough. <laughs> oh my god! That's real. Alright. Uh, tap first. Lackey. And? Sure. We don't get the battle cry on it, but we do get a 4 4 in play, which is pretty relevant. Yeah, no more Dire Horn. Alright, so here comes Choose Your Path. They have one known card, like they kept. So. They still have something up their sleeve. Uh. 
Um, hey, bud. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm... Search your deck for two weapons when your deck is all the card named Discover Ungoro. Uh, I've got very bad news. That must have been a horrible discover. Or they forgot that they flipped their deck around. But I think it's more they, they, uh... Yes. <laughs> Death is a very powerful weapon to choose. You are correct. <laughs> ah, well. Explore on Goro. Uh, it's always a dangerous one to play because there's that dumb skulking geist. Well, that thing basically knuckle bones that they played. Yes, their deck is replaced by one mana spells that all are one mana discover a card. Um, it's not the same uh, as, like, Knuckle Bones in the sense that you the draw to. I'm gonna keep this hand. If, but, like, the idea of the random deck is still the same. I'm just gonna keep this. I really like having the Dreadlord, and this looks like a good curve. One, two, four, three, five. So they have to hero power here. Reporting for duty. My card's gonna get a two for one, which is pretty good for it. As you command. Still worth it. Speak to me. Oh, that's scary. If they do have the the pump for this, this could be very bad. Like if they actually have the um, like plus four plus four or any way to pump that, you know, things like that, we could be in a world of hurt. Adapt. Okay, that's not as bad as it could be. Bad, but ain't no. Okay, that means it's just gonna trade up, and that I can take. They cycled their their adapt. All right. Unleash me. So my idea here is that it deals one damage to this, and then it'll deal another one damage. Anyway, there's the getaway Kodo or the get down. It's always one of those two. You can't hide from me. Um. So, I realize not attacking there is, is yeah, it's getaway Kodo. I, I didn't attack there because get down would have been kind of bad, and, I, and get down is the other secret you get off that. It's usually one of those two. The idea here, being Valonir, huh? Shit. Give a minion in your hand, plus four, plus two, when it dies, re-equip Valonir. Okay. You can't get rid of that, can you? If I silence whatever is it's on, it would get rid of it. Problem is, it's going to hand off plus four, plus two to a minion in hand. And then that minion's probably just going to hit play. Because, like, why wouldn't you? Still want to do this. Energy. 
in the bubble. Yeah, uh, we have no silence, but we could Cabal Courier into Polymorph style effects. Sure. Are you going face? Buddy. I don't think you win that race. Uh, what's your secret? So I want the defile kill because I want to keep the board. I want this to be surprise damage. That's why we went with defile there. Put your faith in the light. What you got? Illegal cards or Void Lord. I wonder. I could binding heal my big dude, keeps it standing. That's an important card to burn off. Okay. It's fine. It's also fine. Shit, I don't want that at all. Um, I wonder. Does this win? Do the heal. God, they actually do heal between it. I don't need any of Alright. That's what I thought. Shit! Oh, that's the best card they could have in that situation, ain't it?
I will enjoy watching you die. Baron Geddon would be very good here if they go to two. Like, they could go to two just by using their weapon to kill off uh, our, our one four. Equality. Okay. I'm at two, they're at three. That's some good stuff. I'm not dead on board. They need something else to kill me because they go bump, bump, one. I go to one. They die. So they need something else to kill me here. Okay. They have to kill my 2-1 golem. I need to draw Geddon here for a draw. Oh, his Valonir didn't evaporate. It's over here. So many possibilities. Hell. Blasting a lackey won't win us the game. It'll be cool, but it won't win us the game. I wonder. Well played. Oh yes, they'll serve me now. I will enjoy watching you die. <laughs> well. I think seven and three was what we had the most people uh, uh, guess. God, the mistress of mixtures saved their life. That was that was incredible. So the way, like, it's could we have gotten Geddon with that? No, Geddon's an elemental, not a demon. So, anyway, we get our seven and three, which is again what we we expected. I'm I'm great with that. Fifteen dust. That's, that's it. Okay, all right. No, we get our money back in the pack. Let's go ahead and check our pack. Alright, it is a nothing. But anyway, we have finished up our, our run. That was good. Uh, we've learned, I think we've learned more about the arena. The power level contained within. Every Kazakus is live, every opponent has legends, and you, you, you can, that's the only thing you can count on is that, that your opponent will have them. So, it's a... Uh, it's powerful stuff. I like that, I really like the higher power level of it. And also how uh everything in the like we get to have a lot of close games because the decks are a pretty reasonable like close consistency which is it's fun it makes for for good games anyway thank y'all for joining hope y'all enjoyed some hearthstone tonight might do some more of this this weekend depending on what is or is not going on i know there's there's always plans so who knows with that if you want to find out when that'll happen, you can always follow the channel and see when this goes live. You'll get the little alert and all that jazz. If you want to support the channel, you can always uh, subscribe, get access to cool skull emote, and uh, you can always check out patreon.com slash sly9 as well. Um, anyway, thank you all for joining, and have a really good night, everybody. <laughs>